Hey, it's Vincent Smith. Welcome back. Got another unboxing with an engineer for you here in just a minute, but you may notice I got a bit of a shiner here. Had a little accident in the shop last night working on this nightstand I'm building right here. And if you want to see what happened and see my analysis of the accident, just click that little button. Now it's up here, up here, but the little exclamation point button, and we'll talk more about that. But let's look down here on the table and see what we've got. Speaking of that nightstand, I bought some components, not for this nightstand, but for another pair I'm going to make. Look, it's another Amazon package. Imagine that. I ordered this just two days ago. Showed up on the porch this morning. Uh, this is an Anchor product. If you haven't looked into Anchor before, I have a lot of their products. I'm very happy with them. I always feel like they're very well made. They hold up. I bought power banks. I bought wall chargers. I don't know what you call them. Some people call them bricks, but you know, the charger you plug in the wall. This is a pair of, well, it doesn't actually say on here. This is actually a pair of wireless charging pads. Now I picked these up on Amazon, like I said, just a couple days ago. They were like $19.50 at the time I bought them. And here we are just two days later, they've jumped up to $23. These are key, chi, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the QI rapid charging standard, they are certified for that. They, they will do that. But one thing that you may notice here is that in all this stuff in the box, we got some instructions there. And I don't know, what is that, a sticker? What is this? I don't know if that's a sticker or what, but I guess it, oh, it just tells you Keep the phone centered. Here's some uh, some instructions. Again, just tells you to keep it centered. Don't uh, don't put it in the microwave. Don't put it off to the side. Blah blah blah. Uh, I got more. I guess this is probably warranty stuff. Tell your friends and family. Share. And then this would be the instructions, which I'm sure are just going to tell you to plug it in and keep your phone centered. But the one thing I liked about this deal was there were two of these for 20 bucks at the time of filming and most of these things run about 20 bucks a piece now you might go well that's a hell of a deal well there's one part you got to be pretty careful about when you look at these things on amazon even though you get two of the wireless charging pads for 20 dollars what did you not see me pull out of the box well, let's see what's in here before i say much of anything you got a couple cables in there. There are no power bricks with this set. So that, you know, you're gonna to have to have your own power bricks or power source from somewhere. The other thing that I think is the reason why these are a little bit cheaper is you can see this is a USB micro plug, not the new USB-C cables. Doesn't really matter too much to me because the plans I have for these particular items uh, include embedding them in the top of a nightstand. I'm going to actually route out a space in the bottom of the top of the nightstand so that you can just, you know, and then I'll epoxy this up in there or figure out some way to hold it up in there so that all you're going to see on the top of the nightstand is, is just wood and you'll be able to set your phone in a certain spot and it'll charge. So let's plug one of these in. Luckily enough, I've got a power bank right up here outside of the camera that just stays there all the time. Okay. Plug the USB-A half of that in, and then plug the micro end into there. And you see a little blue light comes on, and I think that just tells you that, yeah, it's getting power. Now it goes off. The little, the little blue light there turned off. So now let's set a phone on it and see what happens. Oh, look at there. Oh, and I got it upside down. Y'all can't read it. All right, so when you set it down on there, boom, wireless charging blah 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 it doesn't tell you how fast it's charging now the power block i've got it plugged into is a one amp power block it's not a chi or key or qi or pd certified power block so how fast you want your phone to charge with this just depends on how much you want to spend on the power block you buy separately or you may already have one so now let's test the thing kept saying over and over don't put your phone off to the side so if we set it off to the side here you can notice it does not start charging. If we get it halfway on, nope. 
So now it's three quarters, still nothing. It's still not, okay. All right, well, it turned the screen on, but it didn't start charging. I may have touched it. But the moment you get it dead centered, it'll work. Now let's try it from the top. Let's slide this down from the top and see when the charging starts. There you go. It's about, oh, it may be a quarter or three eighths of an inch off up and down. Let's try that again from the side. If we just slide this in real slow. And there again, it's about three eighths of an inch off. So you've got about a three quarter inch circle in the center of this charging pad that you have to get the center of your phone within that three quarter inch circle for it to work. I'm okay with that. I think that works pretty well. I don't plan on putting a high speed charger charging block on this because like I said, the intent is to put these into a pair of nightstands for our bedroom. And I don't want my phone sitting on a high powered, high speed charger all night while I'm sleeping. So I'm gonna put low power blocks on these. The end tables I'm gonna make for the living room, I am gonna put a pair of these in with the high output power bank, power blocks. So that, you know, when you're sitting in the living room, you can just set your phone down there for 10 minutes or so and get a good charge. But let's check this out. I got three fairly thin slices of wood here. They're just a little bit over an eighth. Um, I can tell you that these two together are 930 seconds. So they're just over a quarter of an inch. But let's try it with an eighth. And we're gonna set the phone on there, right dead center. All right, so with an eighth of an inch in there, it'll work. Now let's put two of them on there. These two are 930 seconds. So if you have 930 seconds of wood in there, oh, that may be a problem. Yep. Let's see if these two are a little bit thinner. Which are the, which are the thinnest two I have here? These two are the thinnest ones I've got. So if we get this dead centered, and if we put the phone on there right in the middle, all right, so that's not going to work. I wish I had a piece of 3 16ths around here. Give me just a second and see if I do. All right, so this is dead on a quarter inch thick. So whereas the two of these were 930 seconds, this one is exactly a quarter of an inch. All right, so it will not go through a quarter inch air gap or a quarter inch of wood there. Just to make sure, still working. All right, this is a piece of quarter inch birch plywood that you can get down at your big box store, but it's not a quarter inch. This is just a hair over 3 sixteenths. It's about a 64 or so over 3 sixteenths. And if we get that laying on there nice and flat, and let's put the phone down there right in the middle. Now that's disappointing. I was really hoping those would go through 3 sixteenths of plywood but it will not I'll try this around a few different spots. So what that tells me in our little experiment here is that about an eighth of an inch is all you can get. Now, I think I read in the sales pitch for this particular item or these pair of items that it would go through five millimeters. So maybe that, maybe I'm misremembering. Yeah, it says right here, this is on the Amazon page that your case has to be less than or equal to five millimeters thick and five millimeters, what's five millimeters in inches? Five millimeters to inches is 0.197 inches, 3 sixteenths is 0.19. So it didn't quite make it through 0.19 of wood Maybe it would if it was plastic. Maybe if you had, you know, your, you know, most of your phone cases are made out of plastic, so maybe it would go through that five millimeters of plastic. But that just tells me that, you know, I, I'm gonna have to leave that, when I route this out in the bottom of that wood top for the nightstand, I've gotta leave this about an eighth, maybe just a hair over an eighth of an inch thick. So I probably will fill the cavity with, uh, you know, an epoxy resin to give some support or figure out some way to wedge something under this to give more support to that area. 
anyway, off topic for these items, I guess the uh, the short story is they work. They are they are quite light. Uh, they're very clean. And like I said, I, I have quite a few Anchor products. Now I can tell you from being out here on the workbench, they do seem to have a good bit of static in them because they're getting a lot of dust stuck to them. In the house, I don't think that'd be quite as much of a problem. But it says Power Wave Pad. Yeah, there's a model number there, but I'd be daggone if I can read that. Let's try the glasses. Looks like an A2503, in case you're interested. I'll put the link down below since this is not a firearm product. I can't put the link to this. I'll, I'll give you the link to the Amazon. Hope you enjoyed watching. Um, hope this influenced your possible decision about buying a wireless charging pad. And take a second to click the link below. And if, if you have some of these and you have better, worse, good, bad experience with them, drop a comment down there and tell us what you know. Thanks for watching.